nowadays the landscape's more like a sense of belonging or a, 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 pl a place. Um, like say the early stuff, yeah, I did paint like a specific place, places, um, central plateau, and, and there, were, there were also generic ones back then, which, which I just kind of put as um, my, from my travels and things like that, and seeing particular places in New Zealand, and, and I just go back and paint and. It was quite interesting when the works were put on show. People, without me painting their specific area, would would come to me and say, oh, you know, this so much reminds me of such and such, and grew up just down the road, and all that. And, like, and, so, and you can just see them wanting you to qualify it and tell them that yes, that's where it's from, but it wasn't, you know, so I was always pretty honest. Each piece has its own story. Um, if it's not a about a saying, then it's, then it's about uh, relationships or friendships or experiences um, I've had. Um, so yeah, it's all kind of quite personal stuff down to uh, my school days, um, uh, my grandparents, um, and the friendship piece, which is all about um, how my grandparents and parents would have um, a hot cup of tea, or if you have guests over, you'd always put the jug on and off for a cup of tea. Uh, whereas these days, I think we tend to not do the home thing enough. Because my work is so word orientated at the moment, sometimes you need a glimpse of it there to, um, you can't tell the whole story just with the picture. Um, and I actually, I don't want it to be so sort of uh, self, about the self, I want people to be able to understand or read it, if you like. Um, and if I can't tell the whole story with the picture, then I'll cheat and I'll put the suggest, you know, I'll put a word in, or I'll put. Uh, it's almost like a map <laughs> of my mind. So it's kind of um, if I can't give you the cryptic clues which unlock it, I'll give you a little bit extra. <laughs> and so what I've what I've um, done here is um, again taking the local language without spelling it out, um, painting the phrase, so almost like pic pictograms or whatever you call them, um, using my um, imagery uh, and ideas to encourage discussion. Gotcha. I want to just blow the city line at the same time. But, you know, so it's already starting to run. Almost looks, uh, you actually, it almost looks like a cemetery. That's the other thing here. Um, it wasn't just because of the kids, it's, it's also a lot about me uh, wanting that humour in the work. Um, there was a bit of humour in my last show with um, uh, the um, boyhood memories. Um, I had um, Superman jumping off roofs, and uh, the Lone Ranger, all, all sort of um, quite light hearted themes that. I don't know, I just sort of imagined a boy's room in someone's home and kind of um, crossed that with my childhood memories and came up with the whole series. So I guess I carried the humour over into a lot of this uh, work. Uh, even things like the um, corporate ladder, you know, it's got a very um, professional element to it, but it's still, at the end of the day, it's still just sort of it's supposed to be tongue in cheek, it's a bit of a laugh. But, a body of work like this, and I've gone in different directions all over the place. I've gone sculptural, I've gone uh, back to some land based work. Um, there's, those, there's sort of few through the middle that are so strongly uh, tied into the sayings, then some other which, which are just um, uh, more to do with the, the social activity and the art of conversation. Um, once I get my feet into something, I won't let it go, I'll kind of develop it. And, keep running with it until I tire of it I suppose and then mm. then I might um, feel like doing something really serious. <laughs> mm. I like what I do and I'm always going to paint regardless. <laughs>